Okay, so von Willebrand's factor. So von Willebrand's factor is produced uh, by platelets and also endothelial cells. And in platelets, it is stored in the alpha granules, also with ribinogen in factor five. And in uh, endothelial cells, it is stored in Bible palade bodies. Okay, and von Willebrand's factor has many functions. It's very important for platelet adhesion, platelet aggregation, and also it works as a protector of factor VIII in the blood. Because normally factor VIII from the coagulation cascade has a very short half-life and it's very easily degraded by the enzymes that are in the blood. But if it binds to von Willebrand's factor, the half-life of the factor VIII significantly increases. And this is what you should uh, remember, because in von Willebrand's disease, which is defined by decreased levels of von Willebrand's factor, uh, the, the patients, especially if the levels of von Willebrand's factors are severely decreased, they will have problems with primary hemostasis. But not only this, but also because the factor eight will be decreased, they will have problems also with secondary hemostasis, and these cases could bit resemble hemophilia. Okay, and then another very important thing to mention is, an, is a special enzyme that floats in blood and is produced by liver. And this enzyme is called ADAMTS13. And If we talk about the, the life of von Willebrand's factor, actually, when it is born, when it is produced, it's produced as a huge molecule, huge polymer, which, uh, which floats in the bloodstream. But thanks to this enzyme, this Adam TS13, it is cleaved into small pieces. And this is physiological, we, because we want a small, short, von Willebrand's factor floating in our blood. And why I am mentioning this? Well, because uh, there are people with decreased levels of this enzyme and it could be inherited or acquired, doesn't matter. But the result is that their von Willebrand's factor is huge. It's a huge polymer floating in the blood. And unfortunately, this triggers mainly thrombus formation. And this disease is called TTP which stands for thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. And we're gonna talk about this later. And another interesting thing is that uh, patients with uh, blood type zero, they have very likely bit decreased levels of von Verbrand's factor. Thus, they are a bit more prone for bleeding in contrast to the other types which could be maybe a bit protective in, 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 in higher age. And last thing to mention is uh, actually action of desmopressin, which is a, it's a drug, it's an analog of ADH. And uh, what we see is if you give ADH, it forces the endothelial cells to release um, von Willebrand's factor. Thus, you can use it in von Willebrand's disease, or sometimes even in light uh, cases of hemophilia. All right, so to recap, von Willebrand's factor has important function in adhesion of the platelets, in aggregation of the platelets. Also, it protects the factor VIII. Decreased levels of von Willebrand's factors cause von Willebrand's disease. And uh, as a contrast to this, a decreased levels of an enzyme, ADAMTS13, that normally cleaves the uh, huge polymer of the von Willebrand's factor, leads to a serious disease called TTP. Also, uh, last thing to remember, in some cases with decreased von Willebrand's factor, you can use desmopressin to to force the endothelial cells to release the von Willebrand's factor. 
And a last comment only remember with Desmo pressing you you cannot give it repetitively you you have to give some time uh, to the endothelial cells to produce it again so you can you can do use it once in a few days or or weeks so we're done with this part so let's erase it and we're gonna continue with platelets so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell and as always check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials